Welcome back, this is Fox, uh, the YouTube video going over Anno 1800. Uh, in this video, we're going to start breaking down this, which is my suits island. Really pleased with this. It was a massive ball lake to set up. I've got a million ships coming in and out at one time, but it's running perfect at the minute. Uh, it stalls every now and again just with the output storage. I need to add just a couple more ships just to get rid of the suits faster so it runs more smoothly. Now, I'm not going to go over this island itself today and the specialists and stuff. I'm going to start backwards. We're going to start with the cotton. So, cotton. Uh, let's just nip back over and see how much cotton we need. We need 866 cotton per minute. That's not right. One of the... Uh, one of the oil power plants must be without oil. Yeah, this one. When that finally gets its oil. It's going to jump up. A thousand. We need a thousand cotton a minute. Or round about there, a thousand cotton fabric a minute. Most of it's coming from two cotton islands in the Cape, what we're going to have a look at. Um, some of it's being traded by the Docklands. So we're going to go over those two quick. So cabs. I've got a byproduct from my cab production line of advanced weapons. Um, I'm limited to storage on this little island, so bear with me. I'm going to have to keep doing these. I'll wait for no man. Need to keep these going, the amount of scholars I need. So, yeah, as I said, the cab production island is making advanced weapons as a byproduct. I'm using it to give me some cotton. And linen, but we'll go over that in a bit. So I'm using 238 uh, to give me 3,604. Um, this 3,604 is the maximum I can get in here. The storage is 3,600, so it's producing me 3,600 every time Tobias comes, which works out at roughly 144 tons a minute. Um, the other one that we're trading is this little island here. This is used just to get rid of byproducts again. Storage on this island is 4,300, but I am using some leftover tortillas from the Canary Island, and this is giving me 1,351 over the time it takes to buy us to come, which roughly works out at 54 tons a minute. So those two islands that we've just gone over are producing me around about 200 tons a minute. Um, I am underproducing on the overall cotton by 70 tons a minute, but for some reason, it never stalls. Don't ask me why. I've gone over it three or four times. It's it. My maths tell me that I'm under by 70 tons a minute, but this never stalls on cotton. As you can see, cotton, we're nearly full. Linen, nearly full. Suits are nearly full. Maybe it's because it's stalling every now and again for the output of the suits coming out. It just freezes until the ships come and take it away. See, the storage is 6,300. I suppose if I bought some ships over here and got rid of all these suits, so it was at zero, then it would run a lot better. But yeah, and... Um, all in all, this 935 tons of cotton fabric that I'm producing a minute is running this perfect, so go figure. So I've got two cotton islands. They are identical in regards to how I've set them up. Obviously, the islands aren't identical. This is cotton one. This is producing me 379 tons a minute when it's at full capacity. But I'm having a slight bit of problem with the number of warehouses. I need a couple of more warehouses in there. I'm going to have to probably just move this one cotton plantation and replace it for two over here, two or three over here, just filling in this bits here so I can get a couple more warehouses in here because every now and again, every now and again, it's look, you can see the transport is just not enough, which shows this green bar is hovering around 325, 330 a minute, but... That's the only issue I've got on this island. So let's talk about what's going on here. This setup, um, I've done a video on this already showing you what I think the best setup for crops in the new world is, and it's this, the arborist, the plough, and the horticulturist. Um, I touched on this briefly in the last video where I was going over my progress, progress to date. Um, this one reduces the number of modules by 10% and gives a 15% productivity. This one reduces the number of modules again by 20% 
and add his bonus of 20% productivity. And then I put the plow in because you get a 50% productivity boost and a negative 50 workforce. Now you couple this negative 50 workforce with the tractors that also give negative 50 workforce. Then these farms are running at zero workforce, you can see. No workforce needed. And these are running at 385% when they're flat out. Um, how many have I got on this island? I've got 72. 72 cotton farms on this island. There's one, two, three, four. Four main clusters all running around tractors. The oil's coming in at the oil harbour. I don't think there's any oil on this island, if I remember correct. It's coming from somewhere else. Yeah, I need 18 tonnes a minute, so the oil harbour's here. You have to do some really clever thinking about how you're going to get this oil around the place because the train tracks need to obviously span rivers and get to where your fuel stations are. So it takes a bit of pre-planning when you do it, but once it's set up, um, from experience, I know roughly how big an area that these these are going to cover. So I knew I was going to need about four four trade union clusters filled with farms to get this job done. So yes, these. As I say, they are all in all on this island, making me 364 tonnes of cotton a minute, turning it to 379 tonnes of cotton fabric. We are getting some good byproducts from this. This arborist produces tobacco once every fifth cycle, and the Herman Horticulturist produces peppers, potatoes, and grapes. I'm doing nothing with the peppers. I am, however, shipping the grapes off to my, my investor islands. This is making me 21 tonnes of grapes a minute. We go over to my investor one island where they're coming. This needed 24 tons a minute, so nearly enough to produce this whole island with grapes for the champagne. I'm overproducing. The here I'm going to be shipping some of this over to investor three, which is in the works. So yeah, make use of the byproducts. The tobacco that we're making as a byproduct in these farms is all being fed into this one trade union cluster. I was making 54 tonnes of tobacco leaves a minute. That enables me to make 50 tonnes of cigars a minute. Again, these cigars are going back over to the Investor Islands. So traffic back and forward, grapes going out, cigars coming back the other way as well. Yes, tobaccos as a byproduct. I decided to do it on Ireland. I didn't want to ship it off, ship the tobacco off. I have to build these on another island, so I thought I'd do it on here. The tobacco. Is zero workforce. I've got the lov lovely man's grinding machine. This is plus 40 productivity, minus 50 workforce. I've got a bell in there to give us the zero workforce. And I've got Tordes, Torsador Lucia. Gives another 40% productivity. The main reason I use her is because she gets rid of the need for veneers and you just use timber. So it's a piece of cake. I've got a small setup for the timber here. Um, where are the sawmills? The sawmills. Sawmills are here. These are around a trade union being boosted to the max, so I've only got five sawmills. Um, I'm underproducing on the number of logs needed, but they're coming in from somewhere else as well, so not to worry about that. Right, that was the cotton and the byproducts made from the farms. The cotton, yeah, and the byproducts made from the farms sorted. So now it's just the actual cotton mill. These are running at 240% flat out. Most of them are there. Some of them are stalling slightly, as I said, just because of the the these couple of warehouses just not not enough. I need to squeeze a couple more in here just to take take care of it. But yeah, this is what I do on my cotton mills. Um, these are like generic cloth industry specialists. The hop down loom, forty percent productivity, minus twenty five percent workforce. Plus 50% productivity for the optimised automatic loon and another minus 25% workforce. And then a Ferras giving a 50% boost, minus 10 workforce. So we're at 140% boost and negative 60 on the workforce. That's why I've got some workforce on the island, just to feed these uh, cotton mills. It's taking four honoleros per, per cotton mill, so yeah, nothing drastic. So this whole island is being fed by this one little town hall here being boosted 10 percent workforce by that 50 percent workforce by mulchings back-to-back -back itinerary for serfs 
So yeah, I love working with these islands. It's my it's my favourite thing to do is working in the old in the new world. Sorry, um, dealing with the rivers, laying all the farms out, doing little puzzles. I love it. Really fun. You see, I've got the actual farms for the workforce. Snuck around the edges. The alpaca wool. Anything that's needed just to keep them happy, I've just got them sort of fed around the edge for so that they're not in the way of the farms. So you've just got pure open fields for the farms so you can make use of the space as much as you can. So yeah, that's Cotton Island 1. Cotton Island 2 is, as I said, virtually identical in the way I've set it out. I've got one, two, three, four farm clusters. Four farm clusters again. This needs some upgrading in regards to these buildings just to keep keep the cotton flowing. I've got a little bit of cotton coming in from another island for cotton one. I should have said that. Um, we're slightly underproducing it on my coffee island. I've got some clipped lumberjacks huts in here. See these trade unions? Three trade unions, two clipped lumberjacks huts, giving me the wood that I needed for my cigars. And also they're producing 14 tons of cotton a minute. That got it up to the amount that we needed for cotton one. So I just stuck them in amongst my houses. I got this tip from a, a German YouTuber that I watch a lot called Zazuno. He's got some very, very clever techniques of maximizing your space. You see, I've only used one, two. I've, I've took up the space of probably 10 houses doing this little setup and it's making me 30 tons of wood, 14 tons of cotton as a, as a little bonus. So yeah, cotton two, as I say, exactly the same as cotton one. Making the scars again. One and two big trade union clusters of uh, cotton mills. Uh, Overproducing slightly on the cotton, making 355 tons of cotton of fabric per minute. Same again. Making the actual oil on site for this. It was there. I uh, used the Reach Institute to move all the oil to this little section here. I'll set that one. Excuse me. So, yeah, same thing. I'm having slight problems with the um, warehouse is not keeping up. So. I may have to move these couple of banana plantations somewhere if I've got any room left, which it doesn't look like it. I'll find a way. There's a little bit of space down here. Maybe I can do away with one of these or boost these a little bit more. What have we got? They're boosted to the max. So yeah, unfortunately, I think this is just going to have to be how it is. I could probably move this, swap that, swap these two for that down here, move that. Yeah, I don't know, it's going to be a pain. But yeah, I'm not overly worried because they're saying nothing's stalling at the, at the end where we need the cotton. Everything's full all the time. It's working like a dream. Let's see what I mean. Full output storage. This is the only thing that's stopping us. So I need to add a couple more ships. I might add a few. I've got a million airships over in the Cape. So I'm going to add a few to them now. So let's just add four airships. I should come over in a bit and help speed along the process. So what we at? 14 minutes. I suppose I could squeeze the linen into this as well because I wanted to keep it about 20 minutes. So let's go over to Mbessa. The linen, at the minute, I've got one linen island. No, I'm going to save this for another video. Save this for another video. There's a lot going on here. But yeah, this is, take a sneak peek. This is a linen island. I've used all of the uh, all of the canals I could. Every single shred of the space that can be utilised by these canals is used on this island. That's why I've decided to fill the rest of the space in with houses because um, I'm going for max pop. 
I've got 2,800 shepherds on this island. It's all added to my total number of people. Yeah, we'll be going over this in the next stage. And then, obviously, part three. Part three, we will actually go over the Tailored Suits Island. I'll tell you what's going on there, because I've actually got a cool idea of how I could improve it even better. Make it not more efficient, but create some byproducts that we can then trade for some linen. And, uh, yeah, just make the most make the most out of the space we've got. So, yeah, as always, thanks for watching. Any questions about this, uh, the cotton part of this process, then please ask. If you've enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe, and, uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one.